Hello, Bame Farm fans. It's the very last day of May 2020, so that makes it the 31st. It's on a Sunday. Oh, great. Work on Sunday, fix on Monday. Well, we'll see what breaks. Getting ready to put on some gas. Brad is way over yonder. I'll come back. Let's see what he's doing. And uh, we'll get some action of playing in the dirt today. Hopefully get some corn in before it rains midweek. finished disking this 25 acres once. He's getting ready to put the wings up. And we're gonna, gonna hop a ride and see what the knives are doing back here. Look at that. That's a frosty. Woo, man, that's chilly. Of course, we're in the shade, so this isn't melting off quick. Eh, I could almost collect that and make a snow cone, maybe. bumpy except for at the turns having the knives really well, having the knives in the ground really settles things down so back in the shade fans running fine we changed oils yesterday got our handy dandy water jug full on safety it's bright and orange full of water in case our lovely desiccant and hydrous ammonia will suck the water right out of you. So when it like burns your nose, it'll suck the water right out of you. I wonder, wonder if that would work for uh, coronavirus. If uh, you just, uh, dry it out, I mean, I guess you can kill anything by drying it out. Um, yeah, there's really crazy meth heads who steal this stuff. 
they must not be able to smell anything or something. Whew. That is dry your nose out and burn. Uh, but if the tank, which it's not possible to really explode unless there's something else, another explosion to puncture a big enough hole, and how you're smelling you by itself is fairly inert, you're not gonna, I don't know, can't light a match and light it on fire. But if it escaped from the tank quick enough, and a big cloud surrounded us, it'd be instant mummy. Yeah, it's gonna take a lot of water to save you. That's what, that's what you call freeze drying. Still frosty. Now, if you, and if you saw any little white puffs of uh, gas when I lifted it up, coming out of the knives, uh, that's just a little bit in line from the regulator coming out when it's coming out. If, uh, if I didn't shut off the tank, or you know, shut off our regulator valve up here, let's climb up and see that. That's frosty too. If I didn't shut this guy off before lifting the knives out, well, then there'd be a really big white cloud. So the wisps are just a little bit left in here. But it's, it's uh, kind of liquid coming through the lines, but by the time it gets to the end, it's gas. Man, I wonder how much moisture there is in the air. I've never seen the lines frost up like this. Of course, I've never put an hydrus on wearing pants either. And by pants, I mean jeans. If you've watched enough, you can tell I hate having my legs covered in the summer. I usually wear shorts. And I think the uh, lower temperature uh, might be slowing down our rate of application that we're not necessarily putting on as much anhydrous as we as anticipated. We're gonna kind of put a wrap on this video with a slight surprise reveal. It's getting close to the end of the day. Anhydrous applicator, well, we have an experiment going because of the cold temperatures and well, this field's <laughs> It could be all over the place uh, on yield because of nitrogen and well, experiments are unintended and unintended results are found. Let's see, here comes Nick. Why is Nick here? Well, that gets us to our all oh, shoot the surprise. The we'll feature this in its own video, but if you watch this long, congratulations. You know, we've got uh, this Prowse Landsman soil finisher, about a 14 footer, maybe 15. Brad, how wide soil finisher? I don't know. Yeah, good 14. Yep. Pick up any mailboxes on the way here? No, I had to worry about road signs. I would have hit some mailboxes for sure if there were any. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, good thing there's no mailboxes. So the surprise, here it is. Cross Landsman soil finisher. A few blades, a few cultivators. Got some hairs in the back to make it all smooth. Uh, so why is Nick here? Um, well, at least he's able to rescue us because uh, we had that little problem here at the end of the day. That's like I said earlier, work on Sunday, fix on Monday. Stay here. So uh, now we got a break. Might as well get both hoses because we're here. Uh, just get them both made I'll up. Just take it off. No, because they're so long. Let's break them at the connections because yeah, the these connections. don't move. I'm not as worried about these coming apart mm -hmm. as I am of all this stuff where the rubbers come off. Because once the wire braid starts rusting, that's when the wires get weak. So, yep, it's the soil finisher. Um, it digs up. I got to show the rocks off over there. So, the soil finisher leaves it nice and smooth. You know, no group, um, furrows from the edge of the disc. And not to the disc ridges, but as far as leveling, you have the cultivators in the hair, which I think somehow do something for leveling. And I can't scientifically explain it right now, but I'll figure it out. We'll get back to that later. I'm gonna do the full feature video on the soil finisher. But yes, remember that big rock I ended the chisel plowing video with? This is that same field, and man, we found two more that I didn't know were here. So we gotta get rid of these. Put them in the woods. This will be a fun surprise for somebody else someday, whenever they're cutting down trees, maybe. So we will catch you guys later with 
more fun farming action.